Welcome back. Why do some people seemingly perfectly healthy die from COVID and others don't? It's a question baffling experts during this pandemic. That sure is a new research from the University of Arizona suggests we're closer to getting an answer. As Team 12's Jess Winters explains, it seems to boil down to an enzyme that's also found in rattlesnake venom. What does this rattlesnake have to do with COVID-19 deaths? Floyd Chilton, professor and director of the Precision Nutrition and Wellness Initiative at the University of Arizona, has an answer to that question. Let's start from the beginning. We turned much of my research in my lab towards COVID a year and a half ago. Chilton says he got blood samples from more than 100 patients in a New York ICU. They either had no COVID, a mild, moderate, or severe case of the virus. He did some fancy schmancy artificial intelligence in his lab and discovered two distinct patterns in the people who were dying from COVID. These patterns, number one, told us that the, the, the vital organs were in trouble, but the other looked as if they were being attacked by some enzyme. He says he then found the highest concentration of this enzyme that has ever been found in humans. These levels attacking internal organs means multiple organ failure and death. Could this explain why some people who are like, oh, my cousin, my relative, they were so healthy. Why were they the one that died from COVID-19? Could this explain that? It could, Jess. So where do the rattlesnakes come into play? This enzyme is a humanized version, part of the same family, as the active ingredient in snake venom. In simple terms, this enzyme related to rattlesnake venom that's been found in humans is likely causing tremendous damage, leading to COVID-19 deaths. Why do some people have much higher levels of this enzyme? That's the next step, one that's going to take a lot more genetic research to figure out. Jess Winters, 12 News.